guys, I hope you're having a good day, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a fish eye lens effect to your video in After Effects, and I looked up on YouTube today how to do this, and it involves an effect called the be bezel warp, and I just thought it was a lot of extra work that you didn't need to do when there's a plugin called Optics Compensation, and it's a really easy uh, plugin, all you have to do is drag and drop, or you go to effect distort optics compensation so all you have to do is uh, basically drag up the field of view and by the way this is just um, a video in my room and uh, that's all you have to do and right away uh, if you want to eliminate all this black space you just check this off on pixels and if you want more black space gone you just size it up obviously I don't really want that I want this if you want a more rounder um, sort of like more fisheye look you can just grab a little ellipse tool and just drag from the center uh, drag from the center hold control and shift at the same time and just go until like the edges are sort of cut off a bit more so like that and there you go if you want it even more you can do it more so you want it like that I guess you could have it like that but I think I'll leave it the way it was so you can go as high as you want. I recommend about 100. And I'll render this video and you can see how it looks. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so the video is up and here it is. Alright, so it does give that fisheye feel. Obviously, it's not the exact same as a fisheye lens because when you have that wide field, there's more information to it. So basically, like all this black space would be picture if you had a fisheye lens and uh, not black. So that's the only thing, but this does give a nice feel to it and it's easy as just adding plugin and turning up a value and checking a box but yeah and this is how you get it so uh, this effect can also be applied to eliminate fisheye effect and um, this is what I'm going to do now so what I have to do is apply the, apply the effect to it and the battery race is just from a go to, go to uh, oh, are you going there? I go to Pro Hero uh, video and I just took a screenshot. So, what you're going to do is just check the reverse lens distortion and turn it up. I think 65 would be good. And now, as you can see, it has reversed the fisheye effect. And uh, that's basically what it's doing. But as you can see, now the image looks flatter instead of fisheye. So there you go, and um, I hope this tutorial has brought you some knowledge, and I hope you can all use it in your videos. And uh, happy video editing! Thanks, you guys.